Turning now to San Diego, where border security is moving from land to water. Authorities say that unlicensed immigrants are using some water bottles to float across the border. Michael Chen now finds out how immigration agents are adapting. A hop over the border fence, a trek through rough terrain. Crossing illegally can be treacherous, but these days... More risks that people are taking. The route across can pass through chilly and vast ocean waters. What is the desperation level? I would say it's been highly elevated. Immigrant advocates say with more fences up and border security tightened, many are resorting to extreme tactics. Rafael Hernandez leads Angels of the Desert, a migrant rescue group. He says the desperation has led many to the ocean. And while some can afford the thousands for a boat ride, others cannot. That cheaper alternative is this, water bottles with a little bit of rope. Several of those water bottles are then strapped to each arm. Then it's off to the open water. Hernandez says the perilous two and a half mile swim usually begins in Playas de Tijuana, destination Imperial Beach. They know the risk, but many have been deported and are desperate to get back to their family. Hernandez believes 80 to 100 have attempted the swim this year. At least five have drowned. He knows some of those grieving families and tells us that is why he's coming forward. The families are heartbroken. It's a tragic situation. More people will die. I don't want that to happen. The agents say they have stopped three separate smuggling attempts this week with dozens of undocumented immigrants now in custody.